I'm Chuck KK6USY. Welcome to Ham Radio Ventures. Today I've got something special for you. We are going to look at, I forgot to grab it, a Nano VNA. Now I want to thank the good folks over at RSync for sending this to me to evaluate for you guys. Uh, no money changed hands, they just sent me the product to evaluate for you. Let's check it out. Okay, let's take a look at uh, what comes in the box. This is a Nano VNA H4. The four standing for the screen size, so let's just pull that off. Pretty nice little box here. Set that to the side. Has a nice little, uh, looks like an instruction thing here. We'll just quickly look at that. We're just going to set that aside. Okay, so here is the, we're going to put this aside first and we're going to look at what's inside the box besides the Nano VNA. So you got two little covers here, so we'll set those aside also. And let's just dump it out. So first of all, you've got a, I think this is a USB-A to USB-C. This is a C to C. So those are for charging and hooking it to the computer. Got a couple cables. We'll talk about those later. You've got a pick, which is used to select things. We're probably gonna use the stylus instead because it comes with a stylus. And it comes with, um, these are to, to calibrate and this is to hook the two coaxes together. Also a calibration. All right. Let's pull this out of here. There we go. A little, unfortunately, we've got a little bit of glare on it, but we'll fix that. We're going to get rid of this first. So let's just take that off. All right. Throw that away. So let's just, let's turn it on. So it looks pretty messy right now, but, um, uh, we're going to clean that up a little bit. Let me go ahead and turn it off for now. On the side here, we have two SMA females. And hopefully you guys can see those. And we're just going to keep the covers on those for now. It does have a few things. It says uh, port 1, which is S11. And port 2, S21. It has the uh, Nano VNA down here. On the top, we've got a slot for an SD card. Got the on and off button here. You see the light come on? I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you can see it. And this is a toggle switch. We'll show that later. And then over here, you can hook a that stylus or this will fit through there if you want to put it on there. Okay. On the bottom, we have a USB C. And that's to charge it and to hook it to the computer. Now on the back, I will bring you guys down a little bit to this, and you can pause for a minute and see all the specs on it. So that's what's in the box. All right, you guys can see that there's a lot of going on because all of the traces are on. So let's just see if we can go in here. Uh, uh, this is really new to me. Uh, let's do display. Let's do trace. And as you can see the trace, yep, the yellow trace is on. We're gonna change that in a minute, but we're gonna come down to three. We're gonna turn that one off and see how it cleaned it, cleaned things up. All right. And I, we're gonna take two and we're gonna get rid of that one also but we're gonna leave the other two there's a blue one down here okay but we're gonna back out actually we're gonna go back to trace we're gonna okay we're on that one we're gonna go back out we are going to hit I believe format and you can see it's on log mag right now hopefully you guys can see that let me I can bring you guys a little closer Okay, it's a little dark, but I think you can see the screen better now. So we're gonna change the yellow one, which is the one we're on, we're gonna change that to SWR. We're gonna go back, we're gonna go back to trace. We're gonna to go to this trace, we're gonna turn, it's on. We're gonna go back and then we're gonna hit uh, format. And that's the 11, not the 21. And we're going to hit Smith chart. It looks like that might be what it's on. There we go. There's Smith chart. So I'm going to leave that on just because. And then we're going to back out. We're going to calibrate next. Let me get the calibration stuff out. All right. So I just wanted to show you um, little parts that we put on for calibrating on that S11. So what we're going to do. This one isn't open. This one has a direct short. And this one is a load. So we're going to put those on there to do the calibration. 
I just got I've got it really close. I've turned the the uh, camera so everything you should be able to see things better. So let me come back out of there. All right, let's set our frequency range that we want to do, and I'm going to do one for um, 80 to 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit stimulus, and your start we're going to go three. Megahertz, okay. And we're gonna go back into this again, and we're gonna do our stop at 30 megahertz. So down at the bottom, you can see it goes three to 30. Looks like we have 101 points. So let's let's go see if we can figure that under stimulus. Let's see, sweet points. So it says 101. I'm gonna just set it for 301. You have to tap it. To, make it work and then we go back and then it says 301 down here all right let's uh let's calibrate it so we are in the first one here let's go to calibrate and we're gonna we're gonna reset calibrate okay and then we're gonna calibrate which comes up with open so we got to put the open on that was the first one i showed you guys so put that on there and just snug it and then we're going to click open. You see there's a blue line going across the top. You, you may not be able to see that. And it so, so it goes to short now. I don't know if you guys can see the blue line or not, but there's a blue line that goes across the top. So now we're going to go to the next one, which is the short. And we're going to click that one. And it did that one. I didn't think I had to click the first time, but I did. If you're unsure, just look for the blue line. And now we're going to go for the load. The load is the silver one, the silver one on this in this particular. Okay, that's tight. So we're going to click that one. There goes the blue line. Okay. And then for isolation, if you had two of them, you would put one on this side, but we're not we don't have two, so we're just going to hit isolation. Okay, and then we're going to do through, and through we're going to use the two coaxes that we got. I already have them hooked together, and there's that. Okay, so let me hook this one up, and then hook it to this side, and then we're going to hit the through button. And there we go. There goes the blue line. Okay, and then I'm going to hit done. Now I need to pick one, and it says... One is empty, so we're, oh, actually I'm gonna pick this zero. I think I can do that. Okay. So we should be able to hook something up to this. Let me just disconnect all this and we'll do a sweep on something. I have to get something I can hook up to it though. I wanted to show you the that we're in zero. So basically I'm gonna call recall and it shows we have three to 30 on zero. So we have the Smith chart on on uh, the blue one here and SWR on the yellow. All right, so here is my doublet, and this is untuned. This doublet goes through my tuner, but right now, as you look, the marker one is right here, and that says uh, 1300 megahertz, and it is 1.9. Now to move this, I didn't show this earlier, but this little toggle switch at the top, we're gonna to move it over to this to this point here. I think that's 20 or uh, 15 meters. So you just kind of move it down. Okay, so that's 21810 and 1.68. Now, now keep your eyes on this. I'm gonna switch the, uh, I'm gonna switch this over to number one which is where I have it tuned. Now you see all the different traces. Now this thing should be pretty good on 40. So let's go up. Actually, I don't know really where it's at right now, but uh, so there's six, there's seven. Where are we at? Maybe it's not tuned there right now, but anyhow, let's, uh, there's my yellow one there. So right now it's on 28378 and that is 1.2. So 
So I don't know what it is over here. Let's see. There's another low spot right there. So that is 21,998. It says 1.6. It went too far. And that says 24338 at 1.8. But we should just go back here. So where we're at right now, we're at 7680. All right, so there's 7.320. That says 1.9. Now let's just, so right there, we're at 1.4, and that is. 10.200 these are all the little dips here this is 12.63 uh, 2.0 got a big dip here that's 14.168 and that shows 1.13 so I think we can go in here let's see if I can do this right I'm just learning this let's see uh, I'll go back so stimulus, I think, is what it was. So start. Let's do 13. And then we'll just stop at, let's just say, 15. And there shows our dip. So we're below and above 20. So let's just find our trace. I don't see the trace, so let me move it. There we go. So at 14,193 right now, we're 1.029. You can go back in here and change those like that. Go back. Let's do start at, let's just do 14. And then let's do stop at, let's see, 14. Point five. Now it should give us more of a up and down there like that. We're at 1.02. So let's write that down. So we're at 14.190 and we are 1.0, let's just call it 04. Let's hook something else up and just see how close that is. Had this thing hooked over here. So let's just do this. Let's turn this on. So we were at 14,190. Let's go to 14. Pretty close, 192. And on here we have 1.0, which pretty much is what we had. And you can see on the meter there. I don't know if this, has, I think this has a light, but I'm going to turn it on right there. It's really small, and we're at 50 ohms there. So pretty close. Okay, I think this is a really nice product. As you guys saw, it basically came up with the same uh, outcome as my Comet, and my Comet I use quite a bit, and I do trust it. This can do a lot more, though, and it's my job now <laughs> to learn how to use this thing at least close to its fullest. Probably never get all the way there, but I do need to learn some more stuff about it. You can do a lot with this, and it's a great tool if you know how to use it. I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Thank you for joining me today and spending your time with me. I know your time is valuable. 73 all, and hope to get you guys on the airways.